much deliberation and consideration, we have decided on the new name for our soft dinghy. And we have two runners up before we announce the winner. Yes, the first runner up is Puffy by Tim French. And the second runner up, which was a very close call, is Gummy, which is hilarious. <laughs> uh, and that was suggested by John Newby, Thomas Perry, and Robert Adderholt. So, the winner of this competition slash the namer of our new dinghy is Sophia from Robert Rudolph. So thank you, Robert. Yep. And we love the name Sophia, which means in Greek, as you pointed out, lover of wisdom. Now you'll be receiving some Rigging Doctor stickers in the mail, so we'll contact you and ask you for your address. And we thank everybody for your participation. We had a lot to choose from, and yeah. it was actually a really hard decision. <laughs> yeah, there were some really good names in there. So thanks, guys. <laughs> Kirby has close family friends that happen to live right by here, so they're picking us up today to take us out. And I'm not sure what we're going to do, but it's going to be nice to see them. Did you want to get it in the water? <laughs> yeah. The world is your oyster. Don't be upset if you fail. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep thinking you can do it and you will get there. You can do it.
Ooh. Ooh, the Minotaur. Yes. Don't let the bad times stay bad. Use those experiences like an armor. Use them as knowledge. Game number one came down to Maddie, 79, and Herbie, 86. Game number two, how's it going? <laughs> you just want to hear that you're winning. How's it going? Game number two is Maddie with 10 and Herbie with 5. And this is approaching hole number four. Life's all about thinking outside the box. Don't be upset if you fail. Think of a way around your problem. You I want to go to this magic shop. It turns out that the place is closed until March. So we're going to go somewhere else to eat. So instead of eating at the House of Blues, we're just going to walk around and find somewhere else to eat. Because that's what we do. Don't let the bad times stay bad. Use those experiences like an armor. Use them as knowledge of what not to do next time. Move forward. Okay, so not too long ago we were coming down the river and then or down the waterway and the motor started oscillating between being in forwards and being in reverse. And I got on the phone with the manufacturer to the motor and we went through a whole bunch of diagnostics to try and figure out what is going on here. And in the end, we figured out that the motor's controller died somehow, again. And, uh, and after running some tests, we got it so that it would run in a direction, but it would only run at full throttle, so it wasn't very useful. So, uh, the manufacturer, he sent me another uh, control module again, and I'm gonna pop this guy in, and then we're going to send the old one back to him, that way he can look at it and figure out what went wrong, because this control module is only, uh, it's, it's only a couple months old. Uh, it's the one that I put in when we were in Oriental, uh, back in November. So, the one we had before that, I mean, that went for like two years with no problems at all. So it's not like it's a problem-plagued device. It usually just runs constantly and perfectly without any issues. But, something went, and... Here we are. So we're gonna open this guy up, see what parts he sent, and then we'll get those installed. So in here we have another control module and a spider web of cables that feed the motor. So we're gonna get the old one unbolted and then we'll get this new guy wired back in again. <laughs> So we got the motor all wired up and 
hopefully it'll run. So I'm gonna plug it in, turn it on, and give it a run, see what it does. Now, I think I figured out the culprit. It was very salty. Uh, I had a whole lot of condensation on it, and I licked it, which in hindsight wasn't the smartest thing to do because yeah, it's down in our bilge. But anyway, it was a very salty lick. So with that, that means that there's salt on it, which means that salt was getting there, attracting moisture, causing corrosion, and that can lead to the death of electronics quite quickly. So yeah, it's only like four months old at this point, but if it's full of corrosion, it's just gonna kill it. So finding that it had that moisture and then noticing all these little droplets all over everything on the motor, I wiped the whole thing down in Lysol, at least everywhere I could reach, to get all the moisture off, but more importantly, get all the salt off. And uh, then I wiped down the bilge inside there, that way uh, any areas that are salty won't splash onto it and hopefully we'll keep it all drier and less salty and therefore much better. This one's drawing 14 amps. This one's doing 13. Okay. Yeah. We're drawing 25 amps. So it's all looking good. It runs. The gauges are telling us what it's supposed to be saying. So it looks like we're all fixed. One thing I want to make clear so we've had a lot of issues with the motor breaking down and us getting stuck places because the motor's not working. It's actually not as inconvenient as it sounds it would be. So the motor, yes, it breaks down and then we're stuck somewhere. But the guy who makes the motor, uh, I just give him a call on his cell phone, we troubleshoot it, figure out what the problem is, and then he sends me a replacement part. Since the motor's new, it's all under warranty. So when we broke down on Oriental, we were there for a couple weeks waiting for the part to come in. And we were in a great town having a great time for those two weeks while we waited. So it wasn't that bad. And then the part came, we put it in, we we're on our way. Uh, there was zero cost to us. And then once again, we were here. Motor started going kind of screwy. We gave him a call, we ran a whole bunch of diagnostics, figured out what the problem was, and then he sent me the replacement part. And it came in today, I would just put it in, and we'll be leaving tomorrow. So. Yes, it's inconvenient that the motor has broken down and then caused us to be stuck in some places, but there are places that are quite nice that we don't mind getting stuck in. And at the end of it, it's not like we need to find a diesel mechanic and then pay the rates for a diesel mechanic or diesel mechanic fees or the parts to fix a diesel. I mean, all those just add up a lot. So a simple thing like your motor breaks down means you're gonna be real quick a couple grand in the hole before you're moving again where in our case we sat here for a couple days uh, parts came in we put them on ourselves it everything's small and light because it's all little electronic buggers and we're on our way at zero cost to us for repairing the engine so yes the electronic has its issues that when it goes I have no idea what's wrong on it because it's a bunch of circuit boards and I don't fully understand how they work so I need to give them a call to troubleshoot and figure out where the problem is but it's it's that easy to do you can pick up a phone and with a multimeter you can figure out what's going on he'll tell you what the answers are supposed to be and you'll tell him what the machine is reading and that's it so if you're planning to replace your engine uh, give electronic motors a, a consideration if you are one of those who, you know, you're just going to motor forever and maybe put your sails up sometimes, don't do it. Uh, you're going to hate it. You're going to regret it. It's going to be the worst choice of your life. In that case, do a diesel motor. But if you actually sail, it's nice because it's, it's a wonderful, very reliable backup when you need it. And when you don't need it, you put your sails out and you sail away because you're a sailboat with an auxiliary motor.
so an hour and a half later, yep. after arriving here, we are now anchored in a much better place. So, thanks so much for watching, and if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much!